The goal of progressive overload is not to actually add weight to the bar. Hey, everybody, I thought I would chat with you guys and gals a little bit about this today. Now, when I say that, people are going to say, but Jason, that is, that's the point. I'm trying to add weight to the bar. I want to get stronger. I want to get bigger. And it's like, yes, I get that. And if, you're, if your goal is powerlifting or, or something like that, some strength sport, yeah, the end result there is that you obviously want to get stronger in competition. But when we are training, the reason that we add weight to the bar and progressive overload, whether adding a bit, another pound of those dumbbells I'm using, uh, whether we're adding reps, any of this stuff, the purpose of the progressive overload is not to add weight. The purpose is to continue to make the set challenging. Okay, And when you understand that, when you understand that that is the reason that we progressively overload, it will help you with your training. Uh, because a lot of times, you know, you get people who, who are like, well, I'm, I'm not progressing. I've been, I've been at this a while and I've been having to use the same weight uh, for my, my incline dumbbell presses. I've been stuck using the 55s uh, for, for three months. I've been stuck for three months. And my answer to them is, okay, well, this is a, a hypertrophy exercise that we're doing to get bigger, to get stronger, to put muscle on, right? You're doing it to build your pecs, particularly your upper pecs, your front delts, maybe maybe the lateral head of your tricep. But again, assuming you're, you're really doing it to just get, uh, put muscle, muscle into that upper chest. Maybe you're trying to get it thicker there, get some more separation. So when you look at it from that perspective, the, the question I would ask is, is it difficult? We're like, hell yeah, it's difficult. I'm stuck at 12 reps. I've been doing three sets of 12 with, with the 55s forever, and I can't, they're not getting stronger. It's like, okay. But do you think that if you just magically did something to, to, where you're just adding more weight or change lifts, that that's going to fix the problem? Or, or is it the case of they're challenging already, so what's the problem? Okay. The reason that we progressively overload, and that's one reason I, I used to say that, look, that was why some of the guys who were stuck in a rut, why, you know, 10, 15 years ago when a bunch of us started coming out with these linear uh, progression barbell programs and we were putting these programs out, I was one of the people who published one 12 years ago, right? Got published in a pretty, pretty major website all based off my, my YouTubes. Why? Because people were just sticking with the same weight and not bothering to try to increase and they were still at novice numbers. Like literally guys doing the, the one plate per side on squats for years on end. Okay? And obviously they're not making any progress. Okay? Because they're not working any harder. Okay? The whole point of the progression, unless we're talking about chasing maxes, but a max is oftentimes a demonstration of strength. Right? It's oftentimes a demonstration of strength. So if that's the case, see where I'm going with this? Then that's just demonstrating strength. The other stuff we're doing, we're doing it for the purposes of gaining muscle. And we're trying to gain muscle because we know that a bigger muscle has more strength potential, higher force ceiling. But we gain muscle by doing work. We gain muscle by doing hard sets that put a lot of mechanical tension on all of the muscle fibers and fatigue them, okay? If we are leaving the same weight on and staying easy, then we're not making it more difficult. It's gonna get easier and easier. And if it gets easier, we lose our growth stimulus, right? But if you are just simply not getting stronger. You're not being patient enough. You are either under training. Now, I'm going to say for most guys, that's probably not the case because, because if you tell me that you're doing three sets of 12 and they're pretty much to failure and you can't get any further than the three sets of 12 with that weight, you would eventually grow from that. Three hard sets and especially if you're doing other work. So you're probably not under training you might be training too much total and not recovering. Uh, maybe you've been losing too much weight. Because eventually, unless you're ultra ripped, even if you stayed at the same body weight and just ate enough protein, you would eventually gain the muscle in that area. Because that, that's sufficient training stimulus. 
So it's possibly you're either way under eating or not enough protein. Again, for most of you out there, it's unlikely, or you're just not being patient enough. But if you are really and truly uh, doing hard sets there, uh, it's very, very likely you might be doing too much total training and you're not recovering. Or again, you're just simply not being patient enough and not realizing that, you know, if you can do three sets of 12 with 55s on, a, on an incline dumbbell, you're probably an advanced lifter if they're full range of motion. So what guys will do though, because they think that they're stalled instead of saying, well, I just need to be patient and just keep adding the muscle and eventually I'll get stronger there or well, I'll add weight. You know, you might be at 12s and you might want to add a little weight and see if you can still get 10s, okay. But not at the expense of range of motion or form. And that's the problem when it comes to the progressive overload. When guys start thinking that progressive overload exists, purely for its own goal rather than we do it because sets get too easy if we don't. In other words, before long, your sets of 10 are turning into 15, they're turning into 20, or you're just in, just falling short and not even trying. You're just like, I'm not doing that many reps. So then you just quit training hard because you don't add weight. When we understand it exists for the purpose of making the sets continue to be just as difficult for months and years on end, then we understand the purpose because what people will do is when they see it as the the end game instead of a means towards stimulus again progressive overload means we maintain difficulty and set quality they start cheating oh i'll just skip the bottom of the reps i'll bounce the weight off something uh, I'll shortchange the hardest part of the range of motion. I'll shift and cheat and use more body English because that's putting more, allows me to lift more weight. And if I'm lifting more weight, I'm stimulating more growth. No, the hard sets are stimulating growth. Hard sets that take you through a sufficient range of motion with sufficient tension and that are challenging to your muscles. That is what stimulates the growth. The weight is because as you get bigger, you get stronger. And if you don't add weight or don't add reps while maintaining the same ranges of motion and tempo, it just gets easier. And you stop stimulating growth because your body has no reason to adapt. It's like we're good at it. This isn't hard. We're no longer working harder. There's no need for me to build more muscle tissue. Again, an important distinction here. We add weight to the bar so that the exercises and the sets maintain their difficulty. So that we continue to get an adaptation from them. All right, guys, but well, that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative and I'll talk to you guys and gals next time.